Hey, what's going on, everyone? Joseph Lombard, aka Into SC4. I'm with Zachary Lombard, aka Magnum of Five. Hello. And welcome to the very first episode of the Lombard Podcast right here on my YouTube channel. And of course, I got my buddy, my brother, Zachary Lombard here. Uh, of course, uh, it's awesome to have him and I do a podcast together. I've been wanting to do a podcast on my channel for quite some time. I tried to do it before by myself. Didn't really work out too well, so it's cool to have uh, a second person doing a podcast with me, and Zach agreed to do this uh, as well. So welcome to the first episode. Uh, before I go any further into this uh, podcast, I want you guys to do me a favor. Click that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell so you don't have to miss another video. Also, do the same thing for Zach's channel, Magnum05. His, his channel is in the link in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to that channel and hit that notification bell. So you don't have to miss any of his new videos. So, uh, yeah, episode number one. Um, Zach, uh, thanks for joining me, man. It's You're good to have you here. You're welcome. Yeah. So here's what's going to happen with this podcast. So we're going to have an episode at least maybe once a week or once every two to three weeks. We haven't figured that out yet. Probably just whenever we have the time uh, to do a podcast, we'll just have one for you guys and stuff. We're not really, like on schedule and stuff so but I just thought it'd be something different stuff uh, I will tell you this all the other podcast episodes will be uploaded either on Sunday or Mondays uh, with the exception of this episode episode one which is uploaded on Saturday the day you guys are watching this right now uh, so this is the only episode that will go up on Saturday every other episode will go up on Sunday or Monday so uh, so I thought I keep that in mind for you guys um, also Look at this display right here, Zach. This is a really nice display that I put together. Of course, I will tell you guys this right now. This display will be changed uh, every podcast. It won't look the same. Uh, we'll have different stuff on it, so it's just different and unique. But uh, apparently, Zach, uh, you forgot your racing helmet because your racing helmet was supposed to go there. But that's okay. Uh, Zach has like a black helmet and stuff that... Uh, he has, and we were supposed to put it there, and we just forgot about it. But as you can see, it's mainly NASCAR stuff, like uh, classic diecast and today's diecast, a couple other NASCAR stuff. It looks pretty cool. Uh, Zach and I got some nice chairs, which, Zach, by the way, your chair has the legs. Mine doesn't. Uh, apparently, uh, my chair didn't come with the legs, but uh, we did contact the company, and they're going to bring over the legs Hopefully sometime next week so we can uh, so I can have some legs on this chair. Because I'm sitting a little lower than you yeah. right now, you know? So, uh, oh, one last thing before we finish the intro and we go on to the podcast. This podcast would normally go about an hour or less and stuff. Uh, just so I'd let you know. This is a show where we get to talk about anything we want and stuff. And every now and then, we will have special guests right here. Uh, but... Mainly, it's just going to be Zach and I for the most part. So, but every now and then, if we have some guests, we'll bring them on to the podcast. Um, but so there's that, and uh, yeah. Oh, one also one last thing. What we're going to do with this podcast? Since this is not a live podcast, this is pre-recorded podcast, and it'll be edited properly, then go up on uh, the channel. Uh, I still want to get fans involved, so. Here's what we're going to do. If you guys have any questions to bring up for the next podcast, maybe Zach and I can bring up for the next podcast, uh, you can ask me a question, ask Zach a question, or both of us a question. Go in the comment box below, type out your question, and who knows, maybe your question will be featured in the next podcast episode. We'll only answer a few. We'll pick out one. I'll pick out a few that we can answer and stuff. And, uh, yeah, hopefully still get uh, you viewers involved and stuff. So, I guess that's the intro. Uh, like I said, nice display here, a uh, nice setup, and uh, let's just get on with episode one. So, Zach, uh, welcome to the podcast. Uh, it's good to uh, have a second guest uh, joining my podcast on the channel. So, what do you think, man? What do you think about the setup? And uh, what, do you, what do you think about this podcast that we're going to have? Looks pretty cool so far. Yeah, so I want to let you guys know we had experience doing podcasts before we've had a podcast well pretty much we call it a talk show uh but on the lombard bros gaming channel and it turned out successful you know i thought it was uh 
I thought it was pretty good. Um, we went over a hundred episodes, a lot of them, but uh, you know we don't do that show anymore. But now we're doing our own show uh, right here, which is pretty cool. So uh, no, it's good that good to have you here, Zach. So man, you know what today is, Zach? Yes. What's today? Our birthday. Yeah, and how old are we? Twenty-seven. We are twenty-seven years old, Zach. We're getting old. We are, we are getting old. We're twenty-seven. Think about this: in three years, Zach will be thirty. Oh God, I know. Let's not rush to that, right? Because uh, I want to enjoy twenty-seven first, then twenty-eight and twenty-nine before we get to thirty. You know. So uh, yeah, uh, as we're recording this, of course, uh, when you guys are watching this, it'll already be a couple days past our birthday. But we're recording this on the day of our birthday. So we're 27 today, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's been a pretty good day so far. We, um, what, I went to get Chick-fil-A this morning, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and then what, we went bowling, had a good time. Uh, we kind of suck. Yeah. We're not really that good at bowling. Uh, I'd say I used to be better at bowling back then. Now that I don't play it too often, I'm just like sucking, you know? Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, well, we went bowling, and then we played a few arcades and stuff, and then now we're back filming this podcast, and then we're going to go out to dinner tonight with the family. It's been a good birthday so far, I can't complain. By the way, I am uh, filming a uh, birthday vlog. Of course, you guys would have already seen it. It would have been up yesterday by the time you guys are watching this, but there's a birthday vlog. If you guys have not checked it out yet, uh, check it out on my channel uh, and uh, see what, what you think about it. So, um, so... Yeah, our birthday today, 27. Um, do you feel any different, Zach? Not really. No, nothing? Maybe not right now. <laughs> not right now. I. It, that's a good thing, you know? Not right now. That That's definitely a good thing, for sure. Um, yeah, I don't feel any different. I still feel about the same, obviously. Watch we get to 28 and we'll all sudden we're just like, oh, you know? <laughs> Watch. It, it probably will happen. Um, hey, could have been worse. Could have been like mom, 64 years old. Can you imagine being that age right now? Oh, God. Ugh, right? Just wait till we get up there. You don't want to rush anything, you know? Yeah. Oh, my God. That, that should stop talking about it. Stop thinking about it, huh? Yeah, so, pretty um, much you should. Yeah, so um, so 2020 has been a very interesting year for sure. Good and bad. It's, it's been a mixture, I yeah. would say. Um, let me just uh, ask you this. When... January 1st of 2020 came about to now today. Did you ever expect uh, 2020 would have been the way it is right now? No. What did you, like, if you had to guess, uh, see, I, I went into uh, 2020 thinking this is going to be the most epic and fun year for us. I'm talking about for us, you know? Right. Um, I thought this was going to be a great year, a lot to do. I didn't even expect that we were going to be moving out here to Georgia. No. At all. We never planned to move to Georgia at the beginning of the year. And all of a sudden, what, August? We've been here for three months now. Yep. And here we are. But beautiful. It's beautiful out here, you know? I love the state of Georgia. It's very nice. A um, lot of greenery. Um, the only thing I don't like about the South is the humidity. Yeah. But now, what do you think about Georgia, Zach? I mean, we've been here for three months. Uh, what's your thoughts? Well, it's a really nice state. It looks like there's a lot of nice scenery around. It is It is beautiful. I mean, anywhere in the South, like, you got Georgia, Alabama, uh, Tennessee, the Carolinas, uh, Florida. Beautiful states. Um, just very beautiful. Um, I, I've been uh, enjoying myself out here. Of course, I miss California. Yeah. I do miss the beaches. I do miss uh, the Southern California vibe, you know. Yeah. It's expensive, though. California's expensive, but there's a lot to do out there, too. There's a lot to do out here. But um, for those that uh, want to be reminded, the reason why we moved out here to Georgia was because, you know, we have a lot of family out here. And uh, we thought, you know what? Let's just move out here closer. To the family, and uh, you know, ever since we got here, Zach, we've been spending time with the family a lot. It's been very nice. Uh, of course, before then, we didn't see them too often because they lived here, and we lived out in LA. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, we're here now and been enjoying it. Uh, but there are times I do miss California. We spent most of our years there, and uh, now we're here and trying to make some more memories, make some new ones. You know, so. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we. Uh, 
we moved out here on Memorial Day weekend, and for a month and a half we stayed at our older brother's place, um, just till we got a house here, and then what? At beginning of July. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. You like fall asleep here. Are you tired? Uh, so, well. You need some of that coffee. You need some of that energy drink, man. Oh, God. Those are gross. You know, we we went to the arcade earlier, you know, uh -huh. uh, on our birthday. You know, we 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 uh went to the claw machine and stuff. And you know how normally those things are rigged. Yeah. Those things are just stupid rigged and uh, it's hard to win. I, I won on my first try, and you won on your second try. Uh, we got these, like, like these bouncing balls. Uh, there was a claw machine where they had bouncing balls. You guys probably saw it in the vlog and stuff. And uh, I wish I had it here. I would have thrown it at you just mm. to wake you up. Yeah, this, this podcast is going to be entertaining and crazy at times. So uh, we're just going to enjoy every uh, minute of it. But uh, it's okay, Zach. What? I mean, what time is it? We, uh... 2.15, I mean, we've done a lot today on our birthday, but uh, we're supposed to go out to dinner around 6, maybe you could take a little nap in a little bit, you know, after we're done with this, you know, because, yeah. you know what, a nap sounds great, I, I don't know, when's, I don't know when's the last time I had, well, actually, no, I had a nap, it wasn't really long, it was like half an hour, it was like a power nap to me, you know, I, it was sometime last week, I took a power nap, and it felt good. Sometimes you just need a little rest, you know? Yeah. And it just gets you back going. I think that's what you need right now. <laughs> I wish I didn't say anything, you know? I wish I just kept you sleeping, see how long you realize. Like, oh, oh, you know? That would have been funny. But uh, it was, what, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, being out here, you know? Yeah. We, uh, we stayed at our <coughs> older brother's place for a month and a half until we got a house up here. Uh, we moved in to this place in the beginning of July and just in a month and a half we've pretty much are almost fully moved in there's still a few things left but we're pretty close to moving in of course we got the important things moved here uh, and set up and stuff so we can do stuff like this and uh, hopefully Zach, we can get settled in to do uh, get back to Joseph or Zachary I know yeah. a lot of people have been uh, wanting that back which how about this? Next Saturday, August 28th, no, August 29th, we'll have a Joseph vs. Zachary episode. Okay? Okay. We'll get back to verses, guys. We promise. We'll get back to Joseph vs. Zachary. We love doing them, and we hate that. It's the, it's the long wait, but uh, but now we got time to do that stuff. I mean, what was the last episode we did? Do you remember? Uh, no, I honestly do not. It's been, it's been a few months. I'm looking at uh, my phone right now to see about, ooh, Joseph, you on your phone in the middle of a show? Like, oh, boy. Oh, no. You can't do that. That's unprofessional, Joseph. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so, last Just for Zachary was episode 245. It was Supercross Circuit. Uh, that was three months ago, like I said. Uh, it was uploaded on May 9th. May 9th. Literally a oh. couple weeks before we moved out here. And I don't remember who won it. One of us did. I think it was me. I think I won. I don't remember. Whatever. I'm just... You know what? Whatever, right? We'll figure it out, and then uh, we'll prepare who's going to pick what for versus next. Uh, but, uh, man, I'll tell you what. I feel like three months have flown by since we moved out here. Doesn't it feel like that? Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot has happened and stuff. Uh, just so much... You doing all right? Yeah, I'm just sitting. <laughs> you just like sitting and stuff. I know. You know what I would like to get for these chairs? Cushions. I would like to get a cushion yeah. for this chair. You know, like a nice backrest because um, this could get a little. Or at least like have something right here on my back and stuff. You know, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll look for uh, some pillows uh, for the next episode. You know, just so we can just because these are nice chairs, but it's like need a little comfort. You know. Yeah. Need a little comfort, but. Look, first episode, we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, three months have flown by. It has flown by pretty fast. And uh, can't believe what? We're almost in September. That's insane. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying myself out here in Georgia. Just the humidity. Mm -hmm. Let's just get that away. Speaking of humidity, Zach, I was down in uh, Daytona this past weekend. 
which I'm going to be going back to Daytona next weekend as well. But the a humidity wave came in uh, today, uh, the Florida last weekend. And um, of course, I'm out there at the racetrack all day Sunday. And uh, and uh, <laughs> I'm listening. Are you listening? Are, are you are you actually listening? Yeah, I'm actually listening to you. <laughs> it's just so funny. Like you're just like. Oh man, you know I'm not cutting any of that out. That's gonna be in the podcast. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's gonna be in the podcast. I don't care. Um, look, we gotta make it funny. You know, it's it's enjoyable. Man, um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but I was in Daytona last weekend, and um, a humidity way came in. I was at the track all day Sunday, and um, it was probably the most miserable I've ever been to a NASCAR race, just because of the weather. It, it actually, so the temperatures were supposed to be at high 80s, low 90s and stuff, but because of the humidity, the heat index that got up to 105 degrees. It got up to 105 degrees. Can you, now, here's the thing. I've been to hot races before. Like, I've been to a couple of Las Vegas races when they had a second cup race um, at Vegas in September the last couple of years. And, um... It, it, it got to triple digits, but it's not humidity, it's dry heat. Um, and then the hottest NASCAR race I've ever been to was in 2007 at Auto Club Speedway when they used to have a race on Labor Day weekend. That, that, a heat wave came in that weekend. It hit 107 degrees. I think, I think still to this day, it's still the hottest NASCAR race to date. Um, and what sucked about that weekend too, remember our AC went out that same weekend? Oh God, I know. That same weekend our AC went out and we had to stay at a hotel for a couple of days until they got somebody out here. Of course it was a holiday weekend, so we couldn't get anybody out till Tuesday. So, uh, that happened, but no, but still, this was probably the most miserable I've ever been to a NASCAR race. I don't know how anybody deals with the humanity all day long and, you know, Honestly, standing out there, Zach, being out there, I rather, I mean, it made you rather want to sit in a hot car. That's how bad it was. It oh, felt really? like that. Yeah, it felt like you were sitting in a hot car. You're dripping in sweat. You're like miserable. You're trying to breathe. Of course, you're wearing a mask too, which doesn't really help. There was barely a breeze, but it was just, it was just stupid hot. Just unbelievably stupid. So uh, hopefully when I go back to Daytona next week, Next weekend, uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. At least uh, for next week, the race is going to be at night. Okay. So it'll cool down by then, which is good, which I like. Uh, I'm heading down there Thursday, and then I'm going to come back here Monday and stuff. So I'll be spending at least three full days down there. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to hang out with some buddies uh, that I race with uh, on iRacing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but... Uh, yeah, humidity needs to go. It needs to go. So, uh, so, anyways, 2020, Zach. Yeah. It's been it's been a mix of like good and bad. Uh, I mean, it all got started pretty much when Kobe died. Like when Kobe died, that pretty much set the tone of what this year could be. You know. Yeah. So Kobe died along with his daughter Gianna. And along with seven other people back out in L.A. in a helicopter crash, that was, uh, that one, that one stung so much. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, especially because we were, we were Lakers fans. We, we grew up watching Kobe. Um, of course, my dad is a huge Lakers fan, but he grew up in the Magic Johnson era and stuff. Uh, Kareem and all that. Uh, but we grew up in the Kobe Bryant era. Um, but... Man, that was a huge blow yeah. already to the start of 2020. I'm, just what? I'm sorry, go ahead. Just the uh, just the beginning of 2020 just sucked already. Yeah. Um, so that sucked. Um, then COVID hit. COVID hit across this country and this world. And then the George Floyd incident that yeah. which that really got serious. Um, you know, um, just the officer. The, to me, choking him to death, you know? And, of course, since the guy was a black guy and that was a white officer, of course, it went to this whole thing, you know? Like, this Black Lives Matter and stuff, which they do, too. Honestly, all lives matter. Black, white, doesn't matter what color you are. All lives matter. 
what, no matter what country you're from, uh, what you, your beliefs are in, you know, it's like, you know, all lives matters, you know, so, um, but yeah, that took a hit, and then, and yeah, COVID, I mean, what, I mean, COVID-19, what a, what a thing, huh? What a thing in this country, in this world. Yeah. Um, what What are your thoughts about COVID, Zach? Oh, God. You can't even go anywhere without wearing a mask. Well, yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I know California, Florida, Texas, a few other states, New York is having it bad right now. Georgia was having it bad, and I think they still, still is, too. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, places where you have to wear a mask and stuff, uh, that's mandatory and stuff. And speaking of the mask thing, you know what really grinds my gears a bit? And here's the thing, I don't have a problem wearing the mask. I mean, I don't like wearing the mask, but I'm not going to fight having to wear it. Right. You know, I mean, I'm, I don't have a problem with it. I just don't care to wear it, but I don't have a problem if I have to wear it. Like if I was going to like... Walmart or Target or a few of these places that the masks are mandatory. Well, I'm going to be there for like five or ten minutes. Well, no big deal. I'll put the mask on, you know. It's not going to hurt you. A mask is not going to hurt you. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm not going to complain if I have to wear a mask, you know. So it's like, whatever. But then you got people that's working in the medical field, that's working long hours. You got people that, construction workers or people that works outside, like farmers too, that has to wear a mask. And stuff, and they're working eight, ten to twelve hour shifts or something. They're out in this heat and stuff, just probably as miserable. And yet, you got people complaining about having to wear a mask in a store for five or ten minutes. That's insane. I hate the ignorance some people ask. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the thing is, here's the thing. I know you don't want to wear the mask. I get it. It can be a pain in the butt. But you know what? It's for everybody's safety. It's for your safety. Uh, just last week, uh, COVID in the United States has had over 100,000 deaths now, okay, because of COVID. I'm tired of people thinking this is a joke. It's not a joke. It's a health thing, you know, that people need to take serious. And I hate when I go on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, and see people saying, you know what, it's my body, my decision, my rights and stuff. And I hate that this COVID thing turned into a political thing. It should not turn into I a know. political thing. It's like, oh, I'm standing for my rights on wearing the mask or not. It's like, it's not even political. It should not be political. Shut the hell up, you know? Idiots. Stop, stop. Yeah, exactly. Idiots. Um, just stop being ignorant. That's just wear your mask, practice social distancing, Try to stay healthy, not only for yourself, but for other people. And just stop complaining, you know? Just, if you have to wear it, you wear it. You know what these places need to start doing? And I don't see this happening a lot, at least to my knowledge. If you're, if the mask is mandatory and you have a customer walking in, doesn't have a mask. Um, you know, I see some places handing the mask out, you know? Mm -hmm. And, which I appreciate, you know, they should, and that's good for them and stuff but there are places that would be like no you have to uh, leave you know uh if you don't have a mask you can't enter the store you have to leave and stuff but then people get mad about that you know i hate that it's like you know what follow the rules practice social distancing wear the mask if it's mandatory okay even if it's for five or ten minutes it's not gonna kill you stop being ignorant stop being an idiot it's easy it's simple you know but uh whatever it's just uh I mean, we're going along with it, you know, good things are still happening even through COVID and stuff. And even out here in uh, Georgia, uh, restaurants are still open. Uh, some restaurants are still open. Uh, some dine-in, uh, some stores you can go in. Although most stores out here, you have to wear a mask. Um, but with uh, COVID going into like restaurants, like just wear it when you come in. But then as soon as you're seated, you can take it off, you know, because you're seated. Uh, you're not near anybody, which that's fine. And what you know what? Sports have been shut down for a few months, which, man, I tell you what, going two and a half months without NASCAR. Because what? I went to the first four races of the season. Daytona 500, uh, uh, Fe uh, Vegas Auto Club in Phoenix, and then that's when COVID hit. And then it was a two and a half month break, and then they restarted mid-May. 
And there's been a few races they allowed fans, but most of them hasn't. What they allowed fans at uh, at Talladega, uh, Bristol for the All Star race. Um, I know Texas, New Hampshire, they did Daytona this past weekend. Uh, but Na NASCAR and the tracks have done a very good job uh, doing the procedures at the racetrack and limiting the fans and stuff. And the good news, Zach, is that there hasn't been a at least because they check your temperature. Uh, before you enter and stuff. Mm -hmm. From my knowledge, there hasn't been a COVID case that got brought up by being positive for COVID for those attending at a NASCAR race. That's fantastic. That's pretty good, you know? But I say for the rest of the year, I feel that they're still just going to limit fans and stuff. There's not going to be a full crowd. Uh, some races still not going to have, you know? It's just... Um, I feel that's. I feel we're still going to go through COVID for the rest of twenty twenty, and probably a little bit going into twenty twenty one. But hopefully, at least hopefully before twenty twenty two, hopefully uh, we get over COVID and just go back with the routines and just the normal life again. But I feel uh, life is going to still change a little differently, just how people approach things, you know. Oh yeah, because. Lots of lives have been changed forever due to this. Well, some people, even if COVID was over, let's say it was done, it's clear, you know, some people are still going to be sketched, you know, about it, you know, about touching things or like being around people. It's going to be sketchy. Yeah, it's so. going to be take a while before people can get over this. I guarantee you, like I said, I think us, a lot of people are going to still take a different approach to things, you know, but... Not like in a way that it is right now, like today, you know. But I still feel, even if COVID's all said and done, uh, there's still going to be some different approaches some people are going to have. But that's on them, you know, and stuff. I'm still going to go on with my life and enjoy, you know. So, how long have we done the show? About almost uh, pretty much half an hour. Not too bad, you know. Pretty much half an hour. Um, so, what? COVID has happened. Uh... Well, that was, I had some other topics on here. I just need to bring up something. You got anything to speak about and stuff? Anything you need to say? Well, I... Well, let's see. We've been here in this house for our almost two months now. Two but months, we've been, yeah. But, of course, we've been out here in Georgia for three months. And so far as the unpacking process... I seem to be pretty much almost done with mine, except I have still have a few more boxes to go through. I pretty much uh, got most of my unpacking done. Like, um, I still got a little bit left in the bedroom, uh, a little bit left in here, you know, because uh, this is supposed to be our little studio as well. Um, still got a little bit to do in here, but it's not really much. You know, it's not really, it's not really a whole lot. You know, it's kind of, now, it's kind of little things, you know. We pretty much got the big stuff done, and now it's just the little things that we can get to any time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, that's good. Um, yeah, pretty good. Um, so, man, Zach, that's a nice shirt you're wearing, by the way. Thank you. You know what that looks like? It looks like a bowling shirt. Because, like, here's the thing. I know you guys probably saw in the intro, I have a nice shirt on, but I'm wearing shorts and stuff. I look half-ass. I really do. I look half-ass, half-dressed and stuff. Well, it's my birthday. Let me dress the way I want. But you look really nice. And a nice shirt, nice je jeans, um, and just looking good. So you always look good. Yeah, this shirt is a lot older than you think. How old is that shirt? It's from the 80s. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I can see it. I thought you were going to go like 60s, 70s. I'm like, no, there's no way that No, old, but it's not. I, but 80s. I, I was going to think 80s or 90s around there. But, uh, okay. Well, it's still a nice shirt. It looked like a bowling shirt when we went bowling earlier. Yeah. And stuff. Although, we're not professional bowlers. We suck. Yeah. I, I mean, like I said, I used to be good at bowling, but I feel like I'm not as good anymore. Yeah. You know? Because I'm not, my accuracy is just not good, you know? That's why I gotta stick to playing video games or doing uh, YouTube stuff, you know? That's what I'm good at. But, but bowling, nah, you know, sucks. But uh, it is what it is. Um, so, um, yeah, so what? We talked about our birthday. And, you know, I still feel the rest of 2020 is... I feel there's still gonna be a lot of good. Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm traveling a few more times this year. 
I'm going to Daytona next weekend. I'm my plans are to go to Charlotte uh, in September. Uh, Talladega. If I want to try to go to Talladega again for NASCAR, I hopefully uh, NASCAR will and the track will allow fans at Las Vegas. I want to fly out there at the end of September to go to that race. Um, I still want. I want to go to Martinsville, uh, Bristol in a, in a few weeks. I want to go there again, um, and hopefully Phoenix for the, the for the last race of the season, the championship race in November, if they allow fans. But I have to wait to see what NASCAR and the track says before I make those plans. But uh, at least they're allowing fans for Daytona, Bristol so far, Talladega. I know those three races that I know I'm gonna be going to are allowing fans, and I'm gonna try to go to those. But uh, not too bad, um, but what? I mean, NASCAR has been going for the last few months. Uh, the NBA just started their playoffs. They restarted a few weeks ago. They're, they're doing their playoffs now. MLB restarted a few weeks ago. Sports are coming back, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, but I still feel the rest of 2020 is going to be good. I'm look, you know what I'm looking forward to? The holidays here. I'm looking forward to the holidays here. You know, It's going to feel like winter time. Unlike California, where the temperatures in the winter will only go down like 40s or 50s where we were, you know. Not really that cold, uh, but out here it's going to be pretty cold. It's going to actually feel like winter. I feel Christmas is going to be really nice here. I think it's going to be really cool. Um, <laughs> what? I'm you, listening you. You just look like you're wanting to fall asleep. You want a nap, do you? Honestly, that does... That does sound nice right now. <laughs> you, like, even when you're talking to me right now, you're like, that does, that does sound nice right now. Like, your eyes are just like, it, it, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I know I've gone on to you a couple of times, but it's just too funny, you know. It's just, oh, man. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, by the next podcast, you'll be fine and stuff. Yeah. How'd you get tired, man? We, I mean, what? It's only, what time? Like, 2.40? Still got a long day left to go, man. We I know. St we still got to go out to dinner tonight. Hopefully, uh, you'll be awake for that. Because we're, we're going to Outback tonight um, with, uh, with our family. And uh, I'm going to enjoy a nice steak. Yeah, only limited restaurants are open. Well, I know um, out here, Outback's open. Buffalo Wild Wings is doing dining. Uh, Hooters is doing dining. Um I hop, Denny's, I know. Um, I mean, most of the restaurants out here are doing dine-in and stuff. There's a few little places that it's like, okay, you can only go there to pick up or um, order online and they'll deliver it for you and stuff. But, uh, but you know, that's okay. You know, as long, you know, as long as people are just smart through yeah, the COVID almost. process, you know, just be smart about it and we, you could get back to your normal life, you know. I mean, not that life is isn't normal right now. It's just it's just a little change, you know, just a little change um, that we have to go through, you know, just we have to put up with. So it is what it is. Um, but anyways, um, so uh, man, have you uh, are you, have you uh, seen uh, any more games coming out that's coming out this way? I haven't no, heard. I, haven't. I, haven't, I haven't heard about a lot coming out this fall. Because normally, uh, video games usually start coming out around this time and stuff. They haven't publicly made a lot of announcements and stuff. Like, I know you're looking forward to the new Crash Bandicoot game. When's the last thing? That, what? It's a Crash Bandicoot 4, right? Yeah. When, when did they make 3? 1998. That's 22 years. Yep. Jesus. And, I mean, I know they've made other Crash Bandicoot games like Crash Team Racing, Crash Tag Team Racing, Nitro Car, uh... When was Crash Bash made? 2000. Okay, so they've made that. They've made a, uh, Twin Sanity. Um, wait, Twin Sanity's three. No, wait. That's a different one, huh? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. Um, but they've made other Crash Bandicoot games, but now they're having the fourth main Crash Bandicoot game. Yeah, Cr Crash Bandicoot 3 is warped. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, you're right. Um, so... Crash Bandicoot 4, and that's what they put down. It's about time. Yeah, it's about, yeah, it's about 22 years, right? It's about yeah. time. I mean, I know we've had other, I mean, I know they remastered the, the first three Crash Bandicoot games, you know, to like, like today's graphics, which looks fantastic. The color, the graphics, they did a heck of a job. Yeah. Sound effects, all that stuff. They did a good job. Um, 
So hopefully a Crash Bandicoot 4 would be really good, because I would like to play that, you know? Yeah. Um, I know, um, I haven't heard anything about a new Call of Duty coming out. I know NASCAR Heat 5 came out a month ago, I'm still playing that, recording videos on it. Um, but I haven't heard anything about a new Call of Duty. I'm not sure if they're going to have a new one this year, because of the COVID. Some uh, games have been uh, put behind, uh, delayed, because of COVID. Yeah. Because you know, the companies were not able to finish it in time, you know? Um... There's going to be another Dirt game. Project Cars. There's going to be a Project Cars 3 coming out. Yeah. Uh, another Dirt game, which is... Got, I'm, I'm excited about Dirt. I like the Dirt series. I know there was a new modern Atari system that was supposed to come out. I don't even know that's ever came, that ever came out yet. I never... The Atari? A new Atari? Yeah. Wow, I, I didn't know that. I think it's called the... Uh, Atari VCS, I think? What? Oh, Atari VCS? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see. It says right here, um... Oh, wow, it just only took me to the Atari 2600. <laughs> yeah. Originally branded at the Atari Video Co okay. Computer System until November of 1982, but it was introduced in 1970. Golly, that's... That's 43 years right... Wait. Well, next month it'll be 43 years since... Yeah, 43 years. Jesus. Oh, wow. Since the original Atari came out. So, the the original price for the Atari 2600, uh, when it came out, was 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. Equivalent to today's, like, well, what it says in 2019, $839. That's wow. crazy. Okay, now what? So Okay, so, it looks like... You see, it was actually supposed to come out... Back in March, but of course due to this coronavirus, yeah. it got delayed. Yeah, it says um, it says Atari VCS uh, is a code name for Atari Box, and it's a home video game console produced by Atari SA. The system was first revealed in June of 2017, and pre-order began on May 30th, 2018. After several delays, the console was suspected to ship in March of 2020. But was delayed again due to the COVID nineteen pandemic. So maybe next year, you know, what they started this twenty seventeen, Jesus. Yeah. You know they what few years going by, man. So I checked on Wikipedia about that. It says now it's supposed to be released in October, sometime in October. Oh really? Oh. Okay. Yeah. It don't. It didn't if, say which. If it does get delayed again. Yeah. It doesn't say which specific date. It just says October. Just says October because they don't have an announcement. Well. Because they probably want to wait to see if they can actually release it uh, and not be affected because of the pandemic, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, some companies, some games are being delayed because of the COVID pandemic because some games were just not able to be finished because people had to start working at homes. They couldn't work at the, at the facilities, you know? Yeah. So it's like it got put behind. So, yeah, um, there's some games that... There's still some good games that are coming out. That's not being delayed, you know? Mm. And they people have done a very good job keeping the company going, keeping the the progress and the development going for uh for the games. So yeah, there's that. Um because man, I want some new games. I like you know, I mean I, I just like new games. I like when new games come out to play, you know, so you're not yeah. playing the same thing over and over and over again. Speaking of games, I would love to get back to gaming streams. I, I cannot wait to get back to gaming streams. Uh, I know uh, it's been at least three months since I last live streamed, but we still don't have the internet upgraded here yet. We st we have internet, but we're it's we're gonna upgrade it some more. Uh, hopefully they'll start upgrading it. We will have somebody come out here and upgrade it next week, because I would like to get back to live streaming. I, I know me be too. Because live streaming is a lot of fun. Not only are you playing games live. In front of the fans, but you get to interact with them, you know? So those, nice. Though sometimes it can be quite hard at some times. Well, that's... The only time I have a hard time live stream is, one, like, if I... If technical difficulties, you know? Yeah. That's annoying. Uh, a couple other things, but uh, mainly just uh, technical uh, difficulties. So, yeah. Yeah. So, Zach, since we... We're now a state over, above, or a state above Florida. Your girlfriend, Alyssa, lives down in Florida. Yes. When are you going to go visit? Have you guys talked about visiting? Well, yeah. we did, but hopefully 
If not before the end of this year, then maybe sometime after the beginning of 2021. Yeah? Yeah. That sounds nice, because I know she's... I, I guarantee you she's one of those that wants to plan something, that wants to plan a meetup. She is. And uh, how, how how often do you guys talk about that? Like, hey, we need to meet up. We need to meet up. Oh, God. Just as often as... You would think? Yes. <laughs> Man. So who who does the more talking about it, her or you? Her. <laughs> yeah, there you go. She she wants to see you, Zach, you know I mean? You know, I mean, you're a state closer now, you know, it's, um, just, uh, take a drive down there, take a flight down there, go see her, you know, yeah. man, um, but, uh, it'll happen, uh, but, like, I've probably been down to Florida once, I've been to Tennessee once, ever since moving out here, been to Alabama once, uh, uh, going back down to Daytona next weekend, and then going to, uh, North Carolina next month, in Charlotte, and then hopefully, uh, Vegas uh, at the end of the next month as well, and Phoenix in November. Um, we'll see. Depends on what NASCAR and the tracks decide to do, uh, if they're going to allow fans or not. Hopefully they do. Hopefully, I, I want them to allow fans for Vegas. I know they want to try hard to allow fans for the final race of the season in Phoenix, the championship race. I know they're wanting to try to allow that. Although it, it'll most likely be limited to fans and stuff, but you know they're going to try to get fans out there. Um, so, man, um, what other places would you want to go? You know, we, uh, we've, uh, been to this side of the country a few times prior to us moving out here, you know? Yeah. We've been to Charlotte a few times, we've been to Florida a few times, been out here a few times, uh, while we were living in California, but, uh... You know what, you know what else I would like to visit that I've never been to before? Hmm. Roanoke, Virginia. Roanoke, Virginia? Uh huh. Why that? I don't know. It's just a. What's in Roanoke? Oh, God. I, I, see, I don't know, but. What? You mean you want to go visit there and you don't know what's there? I would do some research before you I, go well, to somewhere. Well, that I would do, yeah. Speaking of research, have you uh, found any car museums around? No, not yet. I've been too busy with this moving. You better find a, a car museum. Hopefully that allows, hopefully it's not too far, but allows you to like volunteer and get to drive the cars. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, hopefully but... the, those people would be as nice as the people you worked with back in LA stuff. See, well, that depends on what kind of museum it is, though, that's what, I'm, what that, they do. Well, that's what I'm saying, you know, hopefully there's one of those like that here, you know. Yeah. By the way, I don't know when they do an auto show around here. I don't. I don't know if they're going I don't think they're gonna do an auto show this year in Atlanta. But like normally in LA, they do theirs in December. But uh, I wonder when they do it in Atlanta. I do. What I also do need to do is check to see search up for car shows too around here, Georgia that I can go to. I feel like outdoor car shows would still happen, you know, because you could still practice yeah. social distancing. But like indoor stuff, I don't know if they'll. I mean, with a crowd like that, maybe not sure if it's a good idea, you know. Yeah. But whatever, that's just me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You know where else I would like to visit? I've never been to before. Hmm. Was it Helen, Georgia? Helen is. Uh, how far is that from here? I think two hours. Up. Is it uh, two hours from here? I from, think from at Atlanta? least an hour, at least two to two oh. and a half hours. North from Atlanta? I'm just I'm just gonna look at it anyway. I it's think it's so... around there. I the last time I've checked. Yeah? Yeah, because I did check on the distance before. Mm hmm But I just can't remember if it was like two or two and a half hours. Let's see. From where we are? From Helen to Atlanta. Uh from Helen to Atlanta. Come on. Okay, it's 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 between it yeah, it's it's an hour forty minutes it says. Okay. So I would but I would say about two hours. Yeah, you're you're right. Okay. Well still, you know, that's yeah. it's a little bit far drive. But uh Maybe that's spend okay. Spend a weekend over there. Yeah, I would like to uh I like to visit Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. I like to uh go I like to go down Jacksonville, Florida. Florida uh, Jacksonville is a nice city. It's a it's it's a big city, you know. Yeah. It's a nice. I mean, I I drove by Jacksonville 
uh, I've been to Jacksonville a couple times. Oh, not for staying, but like I've landed in Jacksonville before. I've passed by Jacksonville last weekend. It's it looks like it's a beautiful town. You see, we gotta find some places to go, like just for vacations. Yeah, I, I dude, I I mean, what I went to Daytona last weekend and felt like a vacation. You know, felt nice. You know, um, man, I feel like we need a vacation, but it's just like the thing is like what's What's open right now? Like, if you were going to, let's say, Jacksonville or Savannah or Helen or Atlanta or any place, you know, it's like, what what's open, you know? You don't know. You have to research all that stuff. Yeah. Helen, Georgia could be a good place to take a vacation. So what's Helen like, though? Do you know? Oh, God. I think it was more... The, I think it was like a, theme, a themed kind of town. A themed kind of town. That's interesting. Let's, let's see. Helen, Georgia. I was like, doing some research. I would say you're a research kind of guy. Okay, so it looks looks kind of something like this. What does it look like? Oh, that looks sick. It does. So it looks like a village town. Yeah, a village town. Looks like something off Germany, I think. That's crazy. Maybe. Um, looks like a village town. It, um... Looks like it's a shopping kind of town, too, you know? Yeah. That's what it looks like, at least the picture he showed me. There could be other beautiful spots. Um, I've never been to Helen. Uh, if you guys, that, if any of you guys watching this right now has ever been to Helen, Georgia, before, let us know what it's like in the comments below. We would like to know. Um, it looks nice. Though. Let us know if you've ever been to Savannah or Jacksonville or any other place. What is it like? Because I, I, I like traveling. I don't mind it, you know? Traveling is nice. Nice to take a vacation. Yeah, I would like to go on a vacation again. Well, my vacation has been NASCAR races a couple of times. Yeah. But uh, that's all right. It's still it's still a vacation. We it's do need a vacation, especially after all we've been doing for the past three months. Dude, I'm like... Or the past six months, actually. I'm, I'm like tired of working. And not, not because of YouTube, but just like trying to settle in here, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, I know we're close to finishing up settling here to Georgia and actually living, you know? But I'm just tired of it. I want vacation. I just want to enjoy my time. I want to do some YouTube videos, some live streaming, do my own thing right now, you know? Yeah. So, it's crazy. Um, but we'll get there. We'll uh, definitely get there. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll probably... Uh, We'll probably do this for another few minutes and then we'll wrap it up here. Um, so, uh, any other topics, Zach, you can think about? You know, just uh, what's what's been going on, man? Whether you, uh, anything coming up for you and stuff? Oh, uh, well, as of right now, I don't think so. Just nothing. Just, just you're, you're pretty, basically, you're kind of like me. You're just playing it day by day. Just hopefully I can get back to making videos and getting back to work this coming week. Oh, yeah. You told me yesterday you haven't had a video upload on your channel for like two months. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought you have been recording videos and st still doing that because I know the internet hasn't been upgraded enough where we can live stream yet, but I've still been recording videos, editing, and uploading and stuff. Even though the upload is a little bit slow right now here, you know, until we get the internet upgraded. Yeah. But at least I'm still getting something out there. I was surprised when you told me yesterday that it's been a couple months. It has been, and I'm hoping to get back to making videos again. That's crazy, man. I wish I wish I'd thought about doing that, but then it's like with the high subscribers I have, you know, it's like, eh, probably not a good idea to go on long hiatus like that. You at know? least hopefully do so before the end of this, uh, before the end of August. Right, hopefully so. Um, hopefully we get the internet upgrade by next week. That'd be nice. Uh... Just want to get back to live streaming and doing all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, two months. Wow. <laughs> two months, Zach. My goodness. Um, so, oh, yeah. Um, you know what's really cool, uh, guys, that we got for our birthday? You guys probably saw on, like, Instagram stories, face, uh, not Facebook, uh, Snapchat. If you have me on Snapchat or, like, stuff, uh... We have ATVs now. Yeah. We we live in the forest, guys, where we bought a couple ATVs. It, it was pretty much as an early birthday gift for us, you know. Uh, we bought we got them a couple weeks ago, and they're they're fun. I've never rid, ridden an ATV before. You never have as well. It was like our first time riding and driving an ATV. 
and we we got it down right away. It's not really that hard to ride an ATV, really not. You know, once you get the hang of it, really not. But I've been going off roading some. I know that for a fact. That's a lot of fun. But uh, you know, that's fun. But uh, no, uh, but everything's been going good. So uh, yeah. <laughs> You ready to take a nap, man? It looks like you're I, ready to take I'm a nap. I'm doing a little better than I was earlier. Oh, you was? See, you doing this, Zach, like, it's like it's like your little power that I'd be like like, you know, it's like, okay, okay, you know, try to get yourself awake, you know? Boom. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just too funny what you were doing, you know, just hilarious. But uh Yeah, um so I'll be but by, by the time we're doing our uh, next podcast, um uh, you know, it'll probably be before I leave the Daytona next week, uh, or sometime afterwards, you know, one of those, uh, still got more to talk about, um, uh, but, what, for the rest of the day, I know for the rest of our birthday, we're just gonna go out to dinner with the family, enjoy that, you know, just have a good time, and then, uh, don't really have much going on this weekend, I'll be here this weekend, just doing whatever, and then, um, gone next weekend and stuff, but, uh, you got anything this weekend? What's what's going on this weekend for you? Anything? I'm oh, just trying to get, just trying to get all my things set up. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, I uh, I'm never uh putting multiple boxes in my room all at once and unpacking a lot of boxes at once. You know, because it clogged my bedroom pretty good. So like normally now, uh, I would just grab one box at a time, put it in my bedroom, unbox that, unpack it, and just organize it and then after I'm done with that box I just grab another one and stuff there was one point like your bedroom you had several boxes in there it was hard to get around your bedroom and stuff I bet it was for you as well because not only you had your bedroom decorations but you had your studio decorations your man cave that you had you know mm -hmm. you had all that stuff going into one room and it's just a lot of stuff so uh uh but what I had my bedroom back in LA uh the studio and my my uh, area and stuff that I putting in one room, but putting some of it in here in the studio, and uh, it'll it'll get there. You know, it, everything will be organized. It'll be done. We can finally start living and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's been uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see what time is it. Uh, yeah, yeah, not too bad. You think it's time to wrap it up here? Yeah. Maybe end the podcast. Uh, Sounds good. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the Lombard Podcast Episode 1. Let me know how, what you guys think of the podcast and are you guys really excited about it? Hopefully for some more episodes. We promise we'll be very consistent with it. We'll, we'll upload the podcast um, either once a week, every two to three weeks. It won't be like a uh, schedule except the podcast episodes will go up on Sundays and Mondays, but it, uh, we're not sure if it's going to be a weekly thing or once every two to three weeks. It'll probably be like that, but who knows, depending on our schedule and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoy episode one. Let me know in the comments below what did you think about podcast number one and are you guys excited about it. Also, do me a favor, click that like button below to show support for this video. And one last thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell so you don't have to miss another video. Same thing with Zach's channel, Night Number 5. His channel is in the link in the description below. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't have to miss any new uploads on his channel. And again, if you have any questions for that you want to bring up for the next podcast, uh, just go in the comment section below and type out your question, ask me a question, ask Zach a question, or ask both of us a question, and who knows, maybe your question will be featured in the next podcast episode. Of course, uh, we're only going to pick out a few questions and stuff, but uh, who knows, maybe your question will be picked out. So Zach, uh, thanks for joining episode one, man, and uh, we'll be back for episode two. You're welcome. Yeah, and we'll be back for episode two. Yep. All right, and uh, we'll change out this display and stuff, and hopefully we'll get a third camera this time that would stay, uh, that would uh, be facing this uh, from time to time and stuff. So it's just not just the two cameras Zach and I have, because that's what we had mainly for this podcast today, but uh, maybe we'll get a third camera. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching uh, Lombard Podcast episode number one. Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. 2 sc 4 with Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum of 5. And we'll see you all next time on another episode of the Lombard Podcast. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.